All right, what's up, YouTube? This is MLG Praise or Davis, as a lot of you guys may know me. And uh, this is a class setups video. I've noticed that I get a lot of responses on class setups videos. And plus, I just like doing them because it's a daily reminder for what I like to use. And um, <clears throat> let's just continue this. So, uh, this is about private match classes to be specific. And um, I'm using, for I play threes and right now at least. And uh, my teammates use active camo, heat wave, and glitch. Like they combine each other with a, whichever map it is, they trade off. And I always use psychosis just because it's not really the best specialist you can use because people can always tell which one is the real one. And plus, it's just not effective. But uh, I do like the look of it. You know, I like the yellow, the old Mario Wario character. I like the helmet and uh, just how I have the gold out and yellow out thing. Plus, it is sometimes effective. So. Uh, score streaks, I usually run HCXD, Dart, and Hellstorm. Sometimes I'll switch up Dart with like Lightning Strike, uh, just depending on how good I'm doing. Maybe Guardian. I like to use Guardian a lot for like putting in our bomb. Um, let's see. Now onto the classes. So I'm only going to show you one class set, just because I've kind of I like to use one class set. I wish there was ten classes per class set, just like in Ghost, but they don't do that. So anyways, we'll start with the first one. I run my first two are SMGs. Uh, second two are like ARs, and then the fifth one's kind of like a fun class. So my first one is just an SMG. Now, the first class, what I would recommend is when you make an SMG, is it needs to be one that can you can manage without having a secondary, like without having a sniper or another AR or a larger weapon. Like this needs to be a submachine gun that can shoot far range, you know. So submachine guns that would qualify would be like the Cuda or the Weevil, but or maybe the Pharaoh, but the VMP and the Vesper are really close range guns, and you shouldn't use them. I don't like the CUDA. I like that it's an MP5, and I liked it from Black Ops 1, but the thing about it is it just doesn't click with me, and when I play it in you know games like this, it's just more of a straight fire gun, and it doesn't let you kind of drag it, and it's just annoying like that. So it is a good gun, though. A lot of people use it, um, but I like to use the Razorback just because, one, it the name, two, look at the style of it. It's just a nice style. Uh, you can already read the description. It's a full auto. It's got the best accuracy in the class, and it's ideal for mid-range engagements. So it's basically like an AR. And um, oops, well, uh, I'll show you what I do. So for my camo, I use I like to use Royal just because that's the only good one I have on it. And then the standard three attachments for this are quick draw, grip, and long barrel. Um, and then for my perks, I always put on. I don't have any lethals or tacticals just because I never feel the need for them, and never run a secondary on your uh, SMG class unless it's a sniper overkill. By the way, it's banned in UMG for the BMP overkill if you don't know. And so, uh, perk, I usually have two classes, especially for my ARs. It'll either be flak jacket or trophy system. It really just depends on the team because if we're doing a best of three and the team's really good and this team just smacks us, uh, I might want to use flak jacket so that every time they call in their RX CDs or HDXDs that I can protect it because if you don't run flag jacket and you trade it for stuns or something, you're making a huge mistake. You are bound to die two or three times per map uh, based on their kill streaks. So just watch out for that. It always happens. So flag jacket's a really good perk. Fast hands is always essential, especially in SMD because it's aiming faster after sprinting. So if you get caught off guard or you're trying to win a clutch gunfight, you got to use that. And then um, I, I just started recently using dead silence just because of how effective it is and how like vital it is. Uh, you will always hear footsteps, and especially when you're playing competitive matches, you will have people who will use, you know, their Astros and stuff to sound you out. So I use these four perks and these three attachments, and that's about it for it. That's my first class. My second class is an overkill. I could use the Razorback overkill, but I just like the Pharaoh um, a lot. I It's my most kills in multiplayer, and I really just enjoy the burst weapon about it, um, and it's really good accuracy. So... I have gold on it right now because I don't really have any good black market camos, but on since it's an overkill, especially when you're using snipers, you have to take off one perk, take off one attachment on your primary, and then you can use a sniper. And I only use thermal snipers, so you also have to add an optic to it. Now, I've experimented with like a lot of SMGs, as I've said, and the main, the main two ones that everyone uses are CUDA and VMP now. And the problem is, the VMP just never has been well with me. It's a good gun, especially in the very beginning, it's a great gun, but I, I've never been able to use this gun. I don't know why I don't like it. It's just not good long range. It's got too much recoil, apparently, and uh, I just don't like guns with recoil. So, kind of given up on that, and I'm using a Pharaoh. I would, I might use like a Weevil or a uh, Vesper, but I like the Pharaoh better, and 
I don't like the look of the Ferro, but uh, when you aim down the iron sights, it's got that MSMC kind of look. Um, but when you're not aiming down, it's kind of ugly. Anyways, uh, you can have two attachments, so I usually use quick draw and grip. You can use quick draw and long barrel, but uh, to be honest, with any SMG, you'd rather have grip than long barrel. Um, my secondary is the P06. I've experimented with all these guns, and a quick analysis is the Dracon is definitely not the best for SMG just because you can't rely on it to be a one-shot kill, and um, it's just not an SMG like, gun. Locus, too many hit markers. It's a great quick scoping weapon, and it would be good in SMG, except that you never get a one-shot kill. It's always hit markers. Uh, the SVG I used to use, it's really great. It's basically a one-shot kill everywhere. And uh, the only problem is I've, I'm not really good at it. It's just not a good drag scoping weapon. It doesn't have the DSR feel that you think it would have, so I don't use it. And the PO6 is the final one, just because it's a charge burst snipe, up three round burst. So when you're shooting, if you miss one or two, you can always drag that three one. I'm pretty sure on one of my gameplays, I have me getting a two piece headshot with this. It's just a very good versatile weapon, and I like the look of it. So. I use that with thermal and perks. Uh, you always have to have fast fan hands, especially if you're using overkill. And then I use these two. These are the three like absolute necessary perks. But if you have extra space, always add on flag jacket or um, a tactical needle. So my third and fourth classes are ARs. The third, the first one is an AR with trophy systems instead. I like to run. I've done, like I said, I've done all the ARs, especially in competitive matches. We lost a lot of matches just because I kept on trying to test these out. I haven't tried this one out um, just because I already know that it's not going to be a good one, uh, especially in SD. SD, you really need accurate weapons. It doesn't matter how good at damage they are. Like in multiplayer, I'm sure this is a great gun, but in SD, when you're trying to get those clutch, like long range kills or just 1v1s, you won't get it because it's not really accurate. XR2, really good damage. But the problem is, it is such a slow shot. So if you're up close, you miss one burst, it takes a while to get that next burst off. And uh, I like it a lot, but it's not good for SD. HBK and ICR are, aren't really good guns. I mean, they're really good uh, accuracy, but damage is not really good, which is what you need in SD. Man of War, uh, some people use it, some people don't. I would like to use it as just one of those guns that I don't. I can't use it for some reason. Uh, I like the name of it, I like the style of it, but I just am not able to get used to it. I like the Shiva a lot, but it's not good for S and D, so I wouldn't recommend that. And the M8 is just the number one gun to use, so I always use that with my gold variant. I use Elo. Sometimes I use Reflex, and uh, it's also got pretty good iron sights, but I use Elo mainly. Quick draw stock. You can use grip, but honestly, it's an AR, so I don't think you need it. And um, plus, it just takes up two more attachments. So next, I'll have with my AR classes, I have a secondary and a tactical or perk one. And uh, I keep three these three necessary perks for this first custom like custom class three. I use a trophy system just because one it'll help out especially since a lot of players use tacticals and lethals just to get you out of a certain building. So I like to place that down to protect me and my teammates. And uh, I also like to place it down when I'm planting a bomb and they're trying to shoot me off of it or nade me off of it, stun me off of it, all that. Uh, Mr. Six, really every pistol's good. This gun runs out of ammo too fast. This gun runs out of ammo too fast. This gun is a you know semi-auto, so it doesn't. But the problem with semi-autos, just like the Shiva, is you have to have a trigger finger. And if you're playing lots of matches, sometimes you get tired. This has the strongest damage in the class, which is really reassuring. Uh, if my second go-to would be this one, but sometimes I've had lately I've had trouble with just not having enough ammo. And plus this one, I have more camos on. I mean, it's just a pretty easy pick. I have ice, transgression, monochrome, so. Um, and I had trophy system, like I said. So the fourth class, it's basically the exact same thing, uh, except instead of a trophy system, I have flak jacket. And like I said, this is in s if we're playing a good team. If we're playing a bad team, I use trophy system just because I don't need flak jacket. But if we're playing a team that's constantly getting streaks on us, obviously I'm gonna have to pick flak jacket. And my last class is just a fun class. For fun classes, I usually like to run a LMG and like a shotgun or some weird variant. And uh, my LMG, there's I mean, honestly, the Gorgon's definitely not one you want to use. The Dredge I used a little bit. The RM, too much recoil. So uh, this is definitely the best one. And I like to use Quick Draw and Grip. Or not Quick Draw and Grip, Quick Draw and Stock. Um, just like an AR. Secondary is a shotgun. I've tried all the shotguns. This one is really great up close. But if you're not literally two feet away, you die. And it's really annoying. I like the look of it. I like it in Zombies. But in multiplayer, it's not good. Uh, Haymaker... 
awful, awful. And hardcore, it's really great, and it's got a great fire rate, really great net and zombies, but not good in regular multiplayer. And Argus, it's just got that unreliable shot. You know, like, it's great range, it's a great overall shotgun, but if you miss that one shot, then you're basically dead. And uh, that's what I don't like about the KRM and the Argus, is if you miss those one shots, you're dead. So... The Brett guy's the best one. Honestly, I like the look of it a lot. It looks a lot like a Remington. It's got a reliable two-shot kill, good range, good everything. So I like to use that. I like to use long barrel just to increase the range. And the same three necessary perks. So um, those are kind of my guns for this game. Uh, we've already gone over Sports Streak. Specialist, I use Psychosis, like I said. If And the best specialists used right now are Heat Wave, Active Camo, and um, uh, Glitch. So... Um, that's about it guys. Also, I uh, kind of can go and update my stats. So I'm Prestige 5 right now. Um, oops. As you can see, I use the Pharaoh a lot more than all my other guns. Uh, my KD is 1.48, 4.18 score per minute, uh, 16,000 kills, leaderboards. This is what's good is my, uh, yeah, this one. I have a 504 score per minute. It's really good rank in that. So that's it for hardcore and everything. Um, zombies, I'm that. So. Uh, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll post some more videos hopefully in the near future.